Let's play the new Attack on Titan Anime Champions update. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bugs. Yo, what up, F minus gang gang? Welcome back, guys, to Anime Champion Simulator. Checking out the newest Attack on Titan update. You already know we have to check out the update every single weekend. And we also have our boy helping us out today. We got Aaron Yeager. This is the newest mythical you guys can get. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the newest cosmic yet because when I opened up the capsule, well, I got Makima. But that's okay. We're still checking out the update today update 7 you guys can see all the new stuff basically the most important thing you guys need to know is there's a new raid there's ascension 3 and there's also a new star devourer challenge you guys see my mouse cursor star challenge all you got to do is basically go to champion city you can attempt it two times a day unless they change it it's basically like this big worm boss in the very middle of the map and you have to do as much damage as you can to him and if you do enough damage you guys can get some pretty cool rewards including ascension 3 yeah, so basically the ascension 3 quest line you guys can go on my stream right now i show you guys how to do it on the screen but basically you just do Irwin's quest you do hanji's quest you do a little bit of this and that you can get a free cosmic capsule and stuff that's what you guys want to do and also if you want to get the free cosmic capsule all you have to do is go to the very top of the wall here when you spawn in there should be Irwin. Irwin, first quest you do you kill all the enemies once you kill all the enemies you guys go to the left side of the map here there should be a basement area from spawn area on the left side if you're having trouble or you're confused just go on my stream right now i have all the instructions there Irwin's gonna be like right here and then you talk to him do another quest where basically you get a mysterious key you do the mysterious key quest you guys get a free cosmic unit and like i said unfortunately i did not get the newest cosmic levi i got makima <laughs> but yeah once you guys go to the very back of the map you guys will see a little teleporter here you go inside the teleporter and then you jump down the wall once you guys jump down the wall go on the left side go over the river and in one of these houses you're gonna find that mysterious key to open up the basement it should be like right here inside like a chest or something like that and then all you got to do is teleport back to the land of giants go down in the basement and then open the chest for your free cosmic units and also if you guys want another free cosmic unit i think you guys can get another halloween summon all you got to do is redeem another code make sure you guys redeem it right now it's called redeem now like literally <laughs> that is the code redeem now you get another free cosmic unit so technically for this video you can get two free cosmic units one halloween summon which is and it gives you like a summon from every map of the game at least you can get any kind of one of those and then you guys also have the chance to get yourself one of the attack on titan summon capsules and now that i look at it dang we might do ascension 3 that's gonna be a different video though i can't do it on this video i can show you how it works this is like the new ascension cards that you guys can get from star challenge i'll explain it in another video plus you guys can get devour crystals it's all part of the updates all you have to do is go to champion city once you guys go to champion city you just go on the i think right here somewhere it's it's leading up into tower mode it's called the star devourer challenge now i could attempt it for this video just to show you guys what it is because it is part of the updates basically the more damage you do the better rewards you get some of the rewards you can get is ascension cards apparently if you want to ascend your units now you have to use these so you have to do the star devourer challenge you can also get devourer crystals i don't know what you spend it on maybe it's not in the game yet and you guys can get movement tokens if you do a lot of damage you can get devourer crystals raid chest keys advanced ascension cards you can get pretty much a lot of stuff so i guess for the purpose of the video we can go ahead and start it we're just gonna do it once and if you guys are in here definitely turn on auto attack turn on auto clicker make sure you guys have your best units out and then go ahead and send them out into battle it is a little difficult you have to dodge the ground it's a little hard to see i don't know why the color is like that they should make it like a like a pure red i don't know what's like a light purple like pink but basically the more you dodge the more 
you know chance your units have to attack the enemy so i'm gonna go ahead and do this entire thing and all you really have to do is like one trillion damage and if you get stunned all your units get stunned for like five or ten seconds it kind of sucks so you need to dodge you really have to dodge the enemy attack guys those little circle things on the ground you're not gonna do enough damage if you don't dodge but like i said do enough damage units are strong enough you have auto clicker maybe you're using a damage boost you will get better rewards including triple ascension now once again i cannot triple ascend for this video because i'm going to do another video on that but i can at least show you the machine and how you guys can complete the quest line all you gotta do is just go to the attack on titan map or go on my stream because i'm streaming right now and then all the instructions are there just do hanji's quest she's in the back right of the map and then it's not that difficult you collect some titan body parts in your inventory here like giant leg giant arm you can get those from killing any titan enemy and that's pretty much it on how you guys will be able to complete that ascension quest and it's going to cost you 100 trillion it's a little expensive and i'm an end game player if you guys are free to play chances are you probably don't even have an ascension 2 unit so don't even worry about ascension 3 but if you guys are pay to win or you have at least a couple of game passes even if you didn't buy them um, you probably will be able to unlock Ascension 3. So you definitely want to do that. And in order to do that, you're going to need these Ascension cards. It's going to be a drop from doing the Star Challenge. You can only do it twice a day. The more damage you deal, the better chance you have of getting these cards. This is the one for Ascension 2. This is for Ascension 3. And you guys can also get, like I said, those crystals. I don't know what they're used for. It's probably a new currency in the future. All I know is if you want Ascension 3, you're going to need 50 Cosmic Essence. You're going to need one of these advanced Ascension cards or maybe a couple of them. And then you're going to need, I think, three sacrifices. Do you know the main unit and my strongest unit? It's going to be, oh, trademark, Apex Fury. His talent is technically triple S. It's 100, 100, 99, It's pretty damn good. 1.1 billion damage. He's already my like strongest max level cosmic he's literally level 130 he has giant passive and he has titan passive plus he has a perfection skin if you ascend your unit three times you can get double skins so you can get one perfection plus another perfection maybe you can get double naruto skins from the halloween orbs that's just how it is and plus you can also get more than like 99 talent 100 talent you can bypass the 100 talent cap so it's pretty good but there it is we just completed the boss once you guys run out of time you'll get a chest that spawns in the very middle all you gotta do is open it up to claim your rewards you can only do this twice a day and it looks like i got some gems from there if you check your inventory you should have some advanced ascension cards i think as well for some reason last time i didn't get any but like this time i don't know i i redeemed the code redeem now or there's like a i don't know if it was a code that gave me this all i know is i can ascend now so once again, like I said, you just go to the machines area after doing Hanji's quest, Erwin's quest, if you wanted the free cosmic capsule. And then go to Ascension, put in your cosmic unit. Apparently, you cannot use mythical units. And I can double check that real quick. I do have some units here that do a bunch of damage. I think Zenitsu might be one of them. I have at least one mythical unit, so let me see if I can sort it by damage, just straight up damage. I am legend, you guys remember that. This one is a mythical. Oh, this is a mythical right here. Perfect. So it says it there. Mythical champions can only be ascended twice. This basically means if you want to be super duper strong in the game, you want to hit the, the actual end game. You cannot use mythical units. So if you're watching this video and you're using mythical units, you have to start spinning for cosmics. That is your only chance. And yeah, right here, you need one of those cards, 50 Cosmic Essence, oh, trademark, my strongest unit, and then you select three sacrifices. Unfortunately, I can't do it for this video. I have to set it up for another video, but I can at least show you guys what would happen if I did ascend it. You probably get three stars. You can break the talent cap and you can get another skin equipped. But that's gonna be the next video. It says it right there at the very bottom. Reaching Ascension 3 allows you to equip a second skin. So you get like, I guess, double damage if you have perfection. And it gives your champion a chance of getting talents above 100. All part of the update. It's super cool. Obviously, it's a lot of work to do. You have to complete your quest, though, in literally the last map of the game. Make sure you guys do your quest. Now, for what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open up that free capsule we got in the beginning of the video when you use the code. It is a Halloween summon why because it's a free capsule that's probably what the title says why don't we try to get a free 
Makima. Maybe it's a godly unit. You never know, y'all. Let's see what we get from the Halloween summon. By the way, this Halloween event that's still going on, it's going to leave next week. So make sure you guys get your Halloween skins and Halloween units. This is not godly, but it might be... Okay, we got a Giyu. Well, I got a godly Giyu in my inventory. Who knows? Maybe f is going to make a godly Giyu. It is very well possible. <laughs> now, why? the last thing I'm going to do for the video, because we've already checked out Walled City here. I mean, we've done all the quests. The Ascension 3 machine, we already took a look at it. Level cap increased to 130. I already have a max level unit here to show you guys. 1.1 billion. He's pretty damn powerful. And then we already checked out the Star Devourer Challenge. You can only do it twice a day. Ascension 3, we already looked at that. Plus the Halloween event and stuff. Oh, uh, we definitely need to do the new raid mode. So, let's go ahead and try to do it. So, I'm going to go in here. I don't think we can do impossible. But for this video, I think I can do hard mode. So, we're going to start hard mode on solo here. I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be. But I'm going to get my best team out. Plus, I'm using a damage boost potion. Now, the new raid mode is a little different than usual. There's no, like, set end point, if that makes sense. All you have to do is keep killing enemies. And they will keep on respawning. Now, you can't use your mount here. It's a it's a lot. It's tedious compared to other raids. Other raids, Namek, right? It takes like, what, 15, 20 seconds to complete it. You just go through the maps. This one, you can't do that because, well, like I said, they keep on respawning. There's like different rounds. We talked about this on stream. Once you kill all the enemies, they literally just respawn. And you just keep re-killing the enemies. And then there's a chance, I think, for like the... Or not a chance, but the chest... It does spawn in, and that's where you guys can get skin. Let's go ahead and continue to defeat this raid mode. So, there's a lot of enemies walking around and stuff. I'm telling you guys, they do respawn after every round. So, there's an enemy back here, and that's the craziest part about it. You literally have to go around the entire map. This thing is so big. I don't know how long this raid is going to take, but if it takes you like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, you could literally do this. You could do like 2 raids on a different map. So, my recommendation... If you really want to get the Levi Cosmic skin, because Levi is the newest Cosmic, you're more than welcome to. You guys can go ahead and do that. But you're probably better off, you know, using your Aizen Cosmic skin. Naruto Cosmic skin. Um, if you guys want to get that extra stat boost, because this is like a lot of work. I ain't gonna lie. Look at this. We're still on the first round. I don't know. I don't even know if we killed all the enemies yet, bro. Like, oh my lord. And I don't even know the spawn points for the enemies. Who knows? Maybe they're back here. Okay, it doesn't look like they spawn back here, so that's good. I just can't use my jetpack, so it kind of sucks. I literally have to, like, just look around for the enemies. Um, it says you can't use mountain raids. Okay, so there. We got another enemy here. It says we're still on the same round, or at least it didn't change. Oh, there it is, round two. So you look at the top of the screen, it says new giants coming. So I don't know how many rounds there are. It might be three rounds, maybe two rounds. I'm going to continue to go around the map. Like I said, it's a lot more work. It's a lot more tedious, but maybe this is the way you guys want to do it. And hopefully this is only for the Attack on Titan map. Hopefully it's not for Namek. Hopefully it's not for all the other maps. Hopefully they didn't redo the entire raid mode because that would absolutely suck. And it looks like they do spawn on this side. Damn. So you guys are literally going to have to like play hide and seek. Trying to find all of these enemies. Just so you guys can open up the chest to get a chance of having that cosmic. Or having the chance of getting the mythical skin. Mythic is Aaron Jaeger. So Aaron Jaeger in his titan form is the skin. Cosmic is Levi in his black ODM gear. So either or, whatever you guys prefer, just go ahead and max out your units, go level them up. You guys can become stronger in Anime Champion Simulator. Let's go ahead and finish this up and then try to open the chest if we can. All right, there it is. It says brace yourselves, the mini boss at the very top. So I guess we kill the mini boss real quick. Shouldn't be that difficult. He only has like 1 trillion HP. And then maybe we get a chest or something? It says chest spawn somewhere nearby. So if you guys want the chest, I... I think they spawn inside of here in the houses. Uh, at least there's not a chest in there. Oh my freaking god. Whose idea was this to do a raid mode like this? It makes me not even want to play. Oh my lord. But yeah, you guys can claim the chest and stuff. Um, other than that, I can't find the chest. I'm sure it's somewhere around here. Hopefully we can open it up because we might actually have a good chance. And I do have some raid keys. So we can use our raid keys. We might even get the cosmic or mythical skin in this video. It just depends on, you know, what kind of luck we have. I'm going to keep on killing these enemies, though. And I think there might be a chest in here. No, it's in, like, one of those houses. It says nearby, but, bro, I know it's in one of these. That's where the spawn is, but 
Bro, just looking for it and playing hide and seek. I didn't come to play hide and seek on anime champions. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. We got some really good news. I finished up the raid. Basically, you just kill more enemies. It's such a pain to do. That's probably the first and last raid I'll ever do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But we did hard mode and I got the mythical skin for Aaron Jaeger. So that's kind of cool. Oh, we got two mythical skins. Damn. Arcane Giant Hunter. And we also got Ruthless Giant Hunter. So I can go ahead and equip our friend. Remember, he I said he was going to help us out in the video. This is Aaron Jaeger. Now we're going to equip the skin to him. Let's see if he gets any taller or any cooler. Dang! Yo, who's bigger? Him or the largest unit in the entire game? Apex Fury with Titanic and Giant. Oh, my Lord. That is... Yeah. Wait a second. Aaron's head comes up. Oh, my goodness. He's the perfect height. But there you guys go. You guys are able to get the mythical skins, cosmic skins. You can use it on your units. However, because of Ascension 3, and don't forget this, because there's three Ascensions and you can't do it on mythical units, maybe instead of getting Aaron Jaeger, you're better off getting cosmics. So, I mean, if you're free to play, you can still go for mythical units. I don't even know if you guys can hit Ascension 3. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But for pay to win, pay to win definitely want to use his cosmics. If you guys use cosmics, you probably be way better off. Like this right here. The next video I do, I'm gonna do triple ascension. We'll do some different combinations. We'll roll another perfection skin unless I already have one. And we will create the absolute strongest unit in the game. Maybe we have to farm some talent tokens. I think I'm running a little bit low. I only got 864. Apparently, you can get higher than 100 talents. So that's pretty cool. Make sure you guys do your quest, redeem the codes, and use your free cosmic capsule that you guys get. Let me know what you think of the update, though. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.